here is everything you need to know about the latest Winter Wonderland update for Forza Horizon 5. There are 15 new cars, which is more than usual, a new car pack and a load of other bits. As usual, we're going to talk about everything. Let's jump straight into it. I'm going to touch on the new car pack first because I'm actually giving away some codes. If you want to win a code for the new car pack, which is a Fast and Furious car pack, make sure to subscribe and just comment your gamer tag. I'll message a load of people and send you a code. So the new car pack has five new cars and it is a Fast X car pack, Fast and Furious. The cars are the Dodge Charger, the Fast and Furious Chevrolet Impala Supersport, the Fast and Furious Datsun 240Z, the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Widebody, and the Fast and Furious Flip Car 2.0. I have no idea how that's going to work in Forza Horizon 5. A first for Forza, this car has steering on all three axles. This is going to be one strange car to drive. But as I said, if you want to win this car pack, giving away some codes. Now let's touch on the festival playlist and all the new cars within that. So for the full series, for 80 points, you can get the Porsche Mission R. And for 160 points, the Koenigsegg Agera. We can also see the Secret Santa there, which we will touch on later on. The first week, which is winter. For 20 points, you can get the first new car of the festival playlist, the Lotus 211. And then for 40 points, the MG6 X Power. The Forza Thon shop for that first week has an elf hat, an elf outfit, a Ferrari F50, Jingle Bells car horn, and the Alfa Romeo TZ2. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. The second week, which is also winter. For 20 points, you can get the Morgan Aero GT, which is the second new car. And then for 40 points, the number 100 Lincoln Co. 03. The Forza Von Shop has a snowman outfit, a snowman head, deck the halls car horn, BAC Mono and the Aston Martin Valhalla concept. Here are the rest of the challenges available that second week. The third week, which is also winter. For 20 points, you can get the third new car, the Subaru BRZ, and for 40 points, the Porsche 935. I think I've got gameplay of the Subaru BRZ, which I will throw in right now. The Forza Thon shop for that third week has a Santa outfit, a Santa hat, a ho 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 car horn, the Bentley blower and the AMC Rebel. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that third week. The fourth and final week, which is also winter, believe it or not. For 20 points, you can get the Lotus 340R, which is the fourth new car in the festival playlist, and for 40 points, the Huracan STO. The Forza Von Shop for that last week has the Bugatti Devo, Happy New Year Forza Link phrase, Snow Knee High Socks, and Snow Jumper, along with the Toyota A86. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that fourth and final week. <music> So that's the festival playlist which had four more cars that's nine new cars in total there are six more to come they have added four new cars to the auto show that you can just go and buy nice and simple starting on december the 5th we have the 1958 aston martin dbr1 we have the 1953 jaguar c-type the 1970 Ferrari 512S and the 1966 Porsche 906 Carrera 6. Those are four really old cars that have just been added to, been added to the auto I'll show you that you can just go and buy. It's unusual that they do that, but at the end of the day, it is four more new cars. That's 14 in total now, I think. No, 13, sorry. What other new cars do we have? Well, Secret Santa is returning as we expected for December. The two prizes will be the 2022 Gordon Murray Automotive T50 and a mysterious car. I can confirm, spoiler alert, the secret reward car for 100% is the 2023 Aston Martin Valkyrie. Fantastic. Here's how it works. Obviously, when starting December the 5th, all players can fill a meter by gifting cars to each other. Once the meter is halfway complete, we will all receive the first 
prize, the T50 Gordon Murray Automotive, and then when we completed it 100%, we'll get the secret new car. I do have a comment from Turn 10 that this is not rigged. There has been comments about these secret Santas being rigged to complete on a certain date. Well, apparently, it isn't rigged, so I'm going to trust them and say that this isn't rigged, so let's get a gift in players. So those are the other two cars. That totals 15 new cars in this entire update. Well, we have a Forza Thon shop sale from December the 24th to December the 26th, so for Christmas, and then for December the 31st to January the 2nd, there will be Forza Thon shop sales. I have a list here of the eight cars that will be available in the Forza Thon shop on what date and for how many points. So if you're missing any of these exclusive cars and you wanna get them, go and get them. Some of these are rare exclusive cars that haven't been seen for a few months. So those are the eight cars. Those aren't new cars. They are just previously new cars that are rare that you can now get through the shop. So yeah, make sure to get them at Christmas and New Year. We have a new road race. It's available on December the 5th. It will be available in Rivals mode as well. And once Winter Wonderline ends, this road race will still be available permanently in game. However, it will only be available during the winter season. So that's interesting. So we can play it for this entire series, but after this series is over, it's only playable on winter weeks. Now I think that works because we're getting sort of a strange evolving world um, this month. It's going to be winter all day, every day. Throughout the whole four weeks of December to the, to, to the January sort of crossover to the next update, it's going to be winter all day, every day in Forza Horizon 5, which kind of makes sense as to why we can use the new road race for this entire season, because it's winter this entire season. A new snowman collectible will also be available as well. Now, along with the winter theme, we are getting a winter wonderland makeover in the stadium. As usual, it's gonna have candy canes and Christmas, Christmas trees all over it, as we can expect. Now, I'm not sure if the new racetrack is incorporated into the stadium track, maybe? We'll have to wait and see on that. Now, what else do we have? Well, we have new accolades available as per every update as well. You can see the details on them here and how to get them. There are new event lab props from Curbs, which will be interesting to add to racetracks, starlights, checkered finish line, race barriers, two concrete barriers, brake markers, which I find really interesting. It seems like these are allowing you to create some actual racetracks with racetrack props, so that's pretty cool. And there's a few more as well that are a bit more festive, like trees and chimneys and igloos and winter flags. So that are, those are all the new, the new props available. Uh, I presume as soon as the update's live. And just like every update, we've got bugs and fixes. Now, this isn't all of them. These are just the highlighted ones. So as, as usual in my next sort of couple of videos, once the changelog is released, we will go through everything that was changed in the entire update. That is it. So that is the full Winter Wonderland update, guys. Enjoy your Christmas. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all later.